Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. Hey, folks. Looks like we've got a bug fix and game balance update that everyone might be interested in. It doesn't fix every bug out in the game currently, but it does get some of the big ones. Let's take a closer look at what these updates are. Starting with game balance, the first one noted will make many multiplayer gamers happy. Azios' healing crystals spawn less with three or more players now, so that should make the Azios fight much easier for y'all. Plants should now continue to grow even when no players are nearby. Oh man, that is a great bug fix, especially for the newer players who are struggling to get their farms going. Projectiles should no longer damage befriended factions. Okay, this does make sense, but you know, I'll admit it also makes me a little sad. It used to be possible to use burn damage or other means to do damage to bosses when you had a larva suit on or the King Slime set. You essentially could kill them, but they couldn't kill you. Now that loophole's closed. Several skills have had fixes from the Seething Blade to Tough Gang to Blacksmith. I urge you to read the details to check out what they are if they affect you personally. And now, minions are considered allies and receive buffs from skills and items that affect allies. This, oh man, this should really buff up the minions and the warlock builds in general, so I'm very excited for this one. Sledgehammers now increase gardening. Okay. I admit, I never thought to use a sledgehammer to garden. I suppose that makes sense. Ross, using a hammer to pick up crops. That makes sense to you. Personally, I think the hoe is a little bit of a better tool for gardening than the sledgehammer, but you do you, boo. They fixed the bug that lets you get a permanent hit point regeneration buff when you log out while sleeping. I admit I was enjoying this bug a little bit, but we all knew this day was coming. Stormbringer no longer levels up your range skill. Good. I mean, this just made the weapon even more confusing. A mining tool that does melee damage, but raises your range skill? It was utter madness. Probably why I liked it so much. They fixed an issue where attacks would fail at very high speeds. Yes, I ran into this bug a lot, especially when fighting Urshlime and using the Stormbringer. I am very, very happy to see this fixed. Player gravestones will no longer vanish on the minimap when you reload the world. I know a lot of people who've been frustrated by this bug, so now you guys can finally log in and find that bag that you lost in the middle of nowhere. Apparently, the well-trained aim skill wasn't properly increasing your range damage. I was unaware of that. I guess I should go back and check all my ranged builds. They are probably much better now. And it also kind of makes sense why people were saying that melee was so much better than ranged. Well, sure, when ranged isn't getting one of their primary skills that increase their damage, I think that ranged and melee may be more on par with this buff fixed. We'll have to do some testing. And then the last thing I want to point out on this list for those of you that love that soul-sucking fishing minigame, well, it's back. There is a toggle in the gameplay settings now that will let you enable the fishing minigame. It is off by default though. If you are on PC and you are playing on a different store besides Steam, there are some additional patch notes that can be found in the Corekeeper Discord. Specifically for anyone playing in the MS Store or Game Pass, there have been several corrections concerning whether or not your pet names get incorrectly censored, as well as a problem where the last player joining a session would get super admin rights. Apparently people playing on the Epic Game Store also had that issue, that's been corrected there as well. And all three of the stores, like GOG, Epic, and MS, all are getting a new pop-up when trying to access online games without an internet connection. I think this is a good update. I'm a little sad that the mob spawning glitch isn't fixed yet, but I know they'll get to it. Mob farming is a bit more niche, so I understand why it's not the top priority. Which bug fix on this list are you most excited about? Leave a comment below, let me know. Obviously, I didn't go over every single patch note, just the ones that I felt were worth mentioning. If you want to read the full patch notes on Steam, check out the link in the description. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, 
please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for future content, and if you are feeling really generous, please join us on Patreon or become a YouTube member. Your support means the world to me, and I can't do it without you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay crazy.